Now we're going to do a little bo more uh, uh, work with this one. We're going to do a little more evaluation. What if we change the bond price to uh, the credit spread to four? Then, of course, the uh, value of the bond goes down, just showing how risk changes the, the valuation of the bond. Now, if you would like to see what happens to the value of this bond, um, if we have different coupon rates, so we can uh, put, let's put 1%, and then how about, tr let's try this, let's go up to 5%. You don't have to do this, Alt-E-I-S, and this time we want to go by 0 0.005, this would be 5%, so 5, and let's stop at uh, 3%. And uh, sh that I'm gonna. This is a really continuation. Alt H nine. Alt H O. It's kind of backwards. Alt H O. That's our uh, discount rate. Actually, let's let's do the same thing. Let's practice. Alt E. Alt E I S. Uh, for the step value, put point zero. Zero five. Let's go to five percent. Okay, good. All right. And now let's put the tenor of the. So let's say we have a five uh, a year bond, and then let's put Alt E I S. This time go up to this. Oops. Put C for columns, and let's. How about go up to thirty. Okay, so that gives us our, our, our bond value, and then we'll make a data table, which means you, you get the value of this. And I'm trying to show that the value of the, that, that there's more sensitivity to the value of the bonds if we uh, have a longer a longer ten a sensitivity to the coupon or to the discount rate. So what I did here is I press Shift Control right arrow, Shift Control down arrow, and then Alt D T for table, and then the row input cell. You could put R for the whoops no, Control R. That really didn't help, did it at all? <laughs> and then we go up to the 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 credit spread and then you put the column input cell as the tenor and then you get the same thing now if you want to format everything shift control right arrow shift control down arrow shift control one and uh put the the uh, uh where are we uh control I, I have to, unfortunately, you, you could press Shift F9. I can't because of the video being on. And now we can see that if you have a five-year bond, the, the value goes from here to here. Let's try to graph just a five-year and a 10-year. So you press Shift, Control, right arrow, and then press F8 and go to the 10-year. Nope. Shift F8, and then go to the 10-year, okay, and then Shift F8, go to the 20-year, and uh, Shift F8, go to the 30-year, and then press F11, and we can see that, and it, 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 uh, Uh, I the 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 um, this is one two three this is the ten year the one the the one year you can see it's much flatter and we have a much more extreme uh, uh, case here I don't know what happened with this one I'm sure we graphed something else but you can you can you can see that there's much more sensitivity to the discount rate so it's really just all this exercise is, 
is uh, uh, introduction to discount rates. If you want to press Control Space Bar, Control B, we can get this one. If you press Control Space Bar, Control B, and Control I, of course, you get this one. And uh, coming up, coming up with measures of risk in the discount rate is this enormous problem in, in, in valuation and I suppose that's all uh, uh, this is really meant to show um, if I, I guess it does show that as long as the, if this is the bigger than the cost of capital then the value is bigger than the investment okay let's make the credit spread let's just make the credit spread two percent I mean the risk-free rate shift control right arrow control R okay everything's two percent now right now this value of the moon will be bigger than a thousand but if the coupon was three percent then the value would be less whoops excuse me uh-oh just a minute okay uh, four percent discount rate, and we have a three percent coupon rate. And I have to pause for just a minute. I'm stuck. This is pretty bad. Uh, why didn't I just make a, a, a tent exit? Uh, so we. Uh, here I I'm I'm kind of put stuff in really simple. Well, let's put let's do this. And let's put five uh, percent. Let's put four percent in here. And why uh, do I have to? Let's put a ten or ten. And what I needed to do is for an exit value, just put put uh, this thing equal this. That was so stupid. Shift control right arrow control R. Now um, on the repayment, let's just put the par value times the this one and shift control right arrow control R. So now uh, if we pet the uh, 3%, 3.5%, .3 and let's press Alt. H9, okay, whoops. Now it's all fine, okay, so I, uh, that, if we have a bond that's uh, got payments in between, okay, so it's, and I should have done the last analysis, it would have been a little more interesting if we did, did it, uh, uh, with this one, so calculate sheet. Okay, so five five year bond goes from one to four, ten, one down to seven. Thirty year bond, one point two down to six. We have a much bigger sensitivity, obviously, to the interest, the discount rate, and the credit spread in in a uh, long-term uh, bond analysis so all right and let's save this f12 to save it and um, I'm gonna put it in chapter one and uh, we'll we'll put it in the shortcut file. Uh, I've got some Apple shortcuts and adjustments. That's that's horrible. And then uh, I hope I have shortcuts here. Okay. And uh, uh, I think that's it.